hello there welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to set up google consent mode version 2 on our websites through google tag manager this is one of google documents like you can say developers.google.com here is the full guideline to how to set up consent mode for websites for apps for amp pages and how to set up consent mode on server side tagging etc and how can we set up basic consent mode and advanced consent mode now i will try my best to show you the practical implementation of this document so let's start this is the website i will deploy the consent mode version 2 on this website through this google tag manager which is connected with my website already and for consent management platform i will use a tool that's partner with google and integrate it with google tag manager here is a long list of tools that are partners with Google. So I will choose from here this cookie bot because it's very easy to set up and configure. So I will click here link to website. Here we go. We are now over cookie bot website. First, I would like to see is it free or paid. So I will go to pricing. We can see over here they have paid plans and a free plan as well. For demonstrating purpose, I will use this free plan. So I will click over here, start your free trial. Then I will continue with Google. I will choose my email, then continue. Here you go. My account is about to complete. Here is a small survey. I will complete that according to my business. okay the survey is finished now it's asking me to enter here my domain url so i will copy my website url then paste here then i will select a template i will select it gdpr for europe union and then i will click here next now we will set up from here the user interface of our consent banner cookie declaration and privacy trigger we can design our consent banner here like as a layout we can choose from here a dialog layout or bar layout as you want this consent banner to be appear on your website i will choose from here this dialog layout keep all of the settings as there i will go to next now we are over the last step that's implementation your banner is ready to be implemented on the website here are implementation methods like its manual implementation and these are partner integration i will choose from here this manual implementation and what i need from here this cookiebot id now i will go to google tag manager and then go to tag section i will take a new tag tag configuration now go to community template gallery i will search here for cookiebot Here we go, cookiebot CMP. I will click here to add to workspace, then add. The template is added to our workspace. Now it's asking us to paste here cookiebot ID. So I will go to the cookiebot and copy from here this ID. Go to Google Tag Manager and paste here. Then I will keep this Google consent mode enabled and all of the settings as there. Then set up the trigger and I will choose from here consent initialization all pages then save the tag name will be cookiebot cmp so i will save it okay our tag is ready now it should show the consent banner on our website so for checking that i will go to preview enter here website url and click on connect here you go tag assistant connected and this is the consent banner now users can give consent for analytics and marketing their data or they can deny all of them. I will allow all here and then go to tag assistant tab, click on continue. On the left side menu, we can see here there are some calls like consent initialization. If I click here, we will see our cookiebot CMP is fired. Now if I go to consent, then you can see consent not configured yet then if i click on this call consent we can see our consent banner is set up on this step 
and if I click on this consent then we can see our all of the consent is given and granted here we have more calls here like consent update consent preferences statics and marketing now we have to configure our tags and triggers according to the users granted and denied consent so in the next video i will show you how to configure tags and triggers so now i will go to google tag manager and publish the version give the version a name i will name it cookie setup and then publish So that's it in this video. If you have any question, feel free to write down in the comment box. I will reply that as much as possible. And I am a top rated professional freelancer working on Fiverr and also working on Upwork with 100% job success. You can read my client's feedback of their satisfaction in these accounts. If you need my services, you can place an order on these marketplaces. Otherwise, you can contact me on this WhatsApp number or on this Gmail address like you can see also below the video. So that's it today. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below the video and consider subscribing to my channel. See you in another video. Until then, goodbye. Thank you so much.